I'm Mary Barkwith and I'm co-chair of this U.S. Virtual Herbarium project. This is Ben Legler, who is working with the Pacific Northwest Consortium. has been really active in getting that portion of it going. So what is the project? Well, basically we have got 807 herbaria within the United States. And within each herbarium, you've got specimens of plants, all of which have a label on them saying where they were collected, when they were collected, and what they are. So it's a vast amount of information. And what this project aims to do is to get all this information available on the internet so that you could go out and you could search for all the specimens that have ever been collected of a particular species or all the places a particular person has gone. So what we have here then are different regions of the country where we're working together to help each other learn how to do this. It means imaging the specimen in the first place. You collect it, then it has to be imaged, then we have to get the data off the label and into a database and then be georeferenced. And then it has all this information has to be brought together and this is where Ben comes into play. Chris. Okay, so all the information is aggregated uh, through a two-level process from the individual herbaria within the U.S. They database their collections, image their collections. Those are then aggregated in a regional level by interested uh, members of the regional herbaria. Then at the national level, we have a group that will aggregate the information from each of these regions into a single massive data set of approximately 70 million specimens. It will then be made available through a variety of ways uh, online, as well as through services to other projects and resources that might use specimen data, such as those shown over here and down along the bottom of the poster. And one of the things from when we say we georeference the specimens, we, we figure out the latitude and longitude where it was collected. This can then can be connected to the environmental data on temperature and precipitation and stuff like that. And this from here, then you can predict where else do you expect to find this, which is useful if you're looking at a potential weed. Where is it likely to go within North America once it gets here? And another thing that we must realize that many herbaria actually have specimens from outside the country. So this is an international contribution that we will be making information from all these different collections. And in the process of going into all these different collections, we are going to reach a lot of students and show them how to make the information they collect, how it can be made useful at an international level for new forms of scientific research, for management plans, and the like. So we see it as doing two things. One, making a new resource, research resource, a management resource available, but also it's a mechanism for bringing in students and people from many different institutions into learning what it takes to provide information in a digital age. And this is where we're going. We've made a lot of progress in getting things online. Our goal is to have all 73 and a half million specimens online in, in 10 years time. So that, thank you.